Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back with another very interesting SQL problem. Uh, in this problem, we are going to solve this question using two methods. I'll tell you which methods. Let's understand the call problem first. So we have two tables, call start logs and call end logs. In each of this table, we have phone number and the start time of the call, as well as phone number and the end time of the call. So we have two separate tables, right? So what we need to do, write a query to get a start time and end time of each call from below two tables. Also, we need to create a column of call duration in minutes. So for example, we have this output, right? In this for each call, we have a start time, end time and the duration, right? Duration we can just find using the difference between these two columns in minutes. The problem is, it says, please do take into account that there will be multiple calls from one phone number. And each entry in start table has a corresponding entry in end table, right? Which means, see, this phone number one has done two calls. So in the end table also, we have two that this call is ending at this time and this call is ending at this time. But the problem is there is no primary key. If I join on the phone number, these two records will join with both of these records. So this PN1 will be joined with this as well as this. Again, PN1 will be joined with this as well as this. So I will not know that which start time corresponding to which end time, right? So that is the problem, main problem in this question, okay? So we are going to solve this question using two methods. We will join this, uh, you, uh, solve this using join as well as union. Yes, same question we can solve using join as well as union. I will show you how. What I will do, I will put create table and uh, insert table statement in description box. You can try yourself as well, okay? So let's move on to the solution using join. So what I'm going to do, if you look at carefully, we can assume safely that the call which is starting first will be ending first, right? The call which is starting first will be ending first. So if I generate a row number on this table on the start time, so I will do a partition by one phone number and order by one start time and generate a row number. Same partition by one phone number and end time order by on time and time right and generate a row number what what will happen the call which is happening first will get one and the one which is ending first will get row number one and then on the basis of phone number plus row number i can join these two tables right let me show you so what i will do i will say select star from logs and i will take one more column row number over Partition by on number comma order by start time ascending only we want right from here as R and I will take okay so if I run this now you will see I got row number one right two Again, one, one. So this phone number is only one call, so it is one. Again, for phone three, I got rank one, two, three because I'm doing partition by one phone. So for each phone number, it will generate a separate row number, right? And the least start time, the minimum start time will get one and then two. Similarly, one, two, three. Now, same thing I will do for, for the other table. And here we have end time. That is the only difference. Right. And let me run this together. If you see the first call on number one and row number one. So this call, the end will be the first, the first one which is ending will be corresponding to the first call start time because the call which is starting first will be ending first. So now the phone number and the row number will become primary key, right? Now I can join these two table on phone number and row number. So what I will do, I'll just treat them as a subquery. I will say A and this is a second table. I will say B, right? And I will just say, give me data from, from this A table, right? And I will do inner join on B table on what? A dot, A dot phone number, 
equal to b dot phone number and a dot r n equal to b dot r n right and what i want in output in output i want select a dot phone number comma let me take r n also just to show how it works and then i want a dot start time comma b dot end time right that is it so if i run this now we have got start time end time so pn1 and 1 those those got joined together and i got the start time end time and similarly for all other so we have the six rows now what i need to do i need to find the date difference the duration also so i will use date diff function in that i will say i want duration in minute start time between start time and end time right as duration we will solve this using union also so watch this video till end we have got the duration right i hope this is clear let's move on to the second solution which is using which is using union okay so i'll just copy this query as it is now instead of this join i'm just removing this i am doing union union all starting here okay so let me run the union query the inner query so just what i have done i have done union of those two right and i will call it as i will call it as phone number and start time as call time because now we are unioning it so call time and start time and end time are are call time basically right that is it okay so this is my call time and i have just kind of union it now what i can do if i do a group by on phone number and row number right so this is my pn11 and another pn11 is there right so if you see this is the start time row and this is the end time row if i group them together on phone number and r n and take the minimum of call time and maximum of call time then i will get my start time and end time right so let me do it quickly i'll do group by phone number comma call time sorry r n row number this this is our primary key okay and then i will say phone number i have to give it a alias phone number and then i want r n right and then minimum of call time as start time and maximum of call time as end time right and here also let me comment this for now so this is our query let's run this if you see for each phone number each call i got separate rows start time and end time right what i did i did a union and did a group by on phone number 1 on phone number and row number and now when i take minimum of call time that will be the start time because start time will be before end time always right and then maximum if i take that will be the end time for that call so just here i need to just change it to minimum of call time to find the duration in minutes and maximum of call time as end time and just run this query and i will get the same result i hope this was helpful okay do try yourself and let me know in comment section if you have a better solution i will look at it and respond it to you definitely thanks for watching the video please do share this video like this video and thanks for watching have a good day